Hello and welcome to the Magenta webinar. Thanks for joining us. My name is Stuart Noten. I'm the Sales and Marketing Manager for Magenta Solutions. Also presenting today is Salvador. He's our Alias Studio and Showcase Product Manager. I'll quickly run through the agenda. Uh, I'm going to begin by letting you know who Magenta are uh, before moving on to what Showcase is. Uh, perhaps most importantly outlining why this great design tool should be of interest to you. One thing I'd like to assure you, and that you can hopefully see from the agenda, is that by far the main focus of a webinar is the demo itself, and not loads of PowerPoint. You may also be interested to hear that assuming what we show is of interest to you, we can also offer you a free evaluation license. More details at the end of the webinar. So who are Magenta Solutions? Um, well, it's kind of there in black and white. We, we are a very successful business partner for sales of Autodesk and Alias Studio and Showcase uh, in Northern Europe. Um, I think the key message here is that Magenta have been in business since 1995. We have an enviable track record for CAD and PLM solution sales. And we've been a partner to Alias and latterly Autodesk for just over seven years now. We offer best-in-class software, as well as the expertise required to ensure a smooth start with all software solutions that we offer. We operate in many industry sectors, including automotive design, industrial design, rail, education, pharmaceutical and medical, uh, and many more. Key customers include Sony, Ford, Jaguar, Land Rover, Lacoste, PDD, Seymour Powell, P&G uh, and Bombardier. So what exactly does Showcase do? Put simply, Showcase is a tool to generate fantastic looking imagery from 3D CAD data derived from any source in real time. I'm sure you've all set up a render using a traditional rendering engine, waited hours only to find the result isn't quite what you need or isn't even what you expected in the first place. Perhaps the result was too dark, too light, not from the right angle, not close up enough, maybe with a distracting highlight right over the key part of the model. All sorts of things can go wrong. Because Showcase renders in real time, Showcase allows you to zoom in, rotate a model, change colour scheme, change materials, all on the fly, so you can see what you're going to get. Uh, because you're looking at it. This is great for a design review. You're not limited to a handful of pre-prepared renders that may or may not be what the project leader had in mind. Instead, let's say the design manager wants to see what the model looks like in a different plastic or a shinier metal. A few clicks and it's all done. This allows you to focus on the design itself and not spend valuable time messing around with software. Will this save you time? Almost certainly. But what we think is more important is that this is an enabler to generate more iterations of a design, have better discussions about what might be able to be improved. So it's all about visual communication and collaboration to produce a better product at the end of the day. More accurately, this slide actually should be called What are our customers using Showcase for? We've already touched on a styling review tool, which is arguably what Showcase is all about. Showcase customers can now focus on and discuss different iterations. But say, in a colour and material, material review, different material and colour options can be visualised far quicker than can be achieved with anything else. I've also alluded to Showcase producing high quality renders very quickly, but at what resolution? Other so-called high quality renderers limit the size of a final image. I've seen Showcase save off a 6,000 by 4,000 pixel image in less than two seconds. That's what we mean when we say an image is in high resolution. This really brings out the detail. This is all important stuff, but in different ways for different groups of people. Uh, an existing visualisation expert can really dig into the nuts and bolts of Showcase to customise it to their company's needs. Fantastic imagery can be created at a far higher rate than before, so it's no longer a case of, mm, I'll see what I can do, I'll you know, maybe drop by tomorrow. The non-expert, perhaps an engineer or a designer skilled in CAD, wanting to try out design before committing too far into the project, now has a tool available with little or no training required to see what his design will actually look like without having to run it past other people first. And of course, financial benefits can be realised all the way through, particularly if, like most showcase customers, you can prevent a number of physical prototypes being made because a digital prototype inside showcase has been proven to need further development before it progresses. Uh, some quick examples before we move on. Uh, interesting point to make here is that I happen to know that the Mercedes and the Audi Q7 models are in fact the entire interior and exterior vehicle geometry. That's a lot of CAD data and in the case of the Q7 it's in there three times. So how can we do this and not kill the PC Showcase is running on? Well, Showcase has a very clever model tessellator that enables us to work with extremely large data sets very easily. High quality conversion into a lightweight format allows us to import and work with large assemblies that would otherwise be unwieldy, if not impossible to work with. 
great looking images though. So to summarise, Showcase is very easy to learn, there are not thousands of toolbars, drop down menus and complex options by default, although for advanced users these options can be accessed if desired. You're about to see that generating a great final image is very quick to achieve and certainly of very high quality too. So uh, that's enough for me, uh, now it's the exciting bit, over to Salvador, Magenta's product manager for Showcase. Hello. Today I'm going to show you how easy it is to prepare a presentation in Showcase. For that I'm going to use this model, courtesy of Simon Powell, that is going to help us to go through all the steps you need to know. Right, first step, that is going to import the geometry. File Import. And let's have a look to the formats that we have. With the entire connect activated we can import WG, .wire, from Inventor, Pro Engineer, Katia V5, SolidWorks, STLs, we have basically all the different formats of CAD. Let's select, in that case, a wire file that we have, and we change the tessellation to medium, low, high tessellation, because the Direct Connect will not only import the file, we'll also group it, respecting the groups of layers and materials, or different group assignments that we have in our CAD software and also tessellating the file. It's already tessellated. We have selected medium tessellation. We can have a look to it and it's possible to retessellate if we need more precision. That will make our model very light and very easy to work with. Once we have the geometry imported in Showcase, we can with E activate the library of environments. Let's select some of them and they will become active in my scene. Generic as well. These environments from Showcase are using HDRI technology and I can swap between the ones that I have active. I can have a look to them and see that they are not only providing the backdrop they are also providing light and reflections. We can change the settings of them, make them smaller, adjust it to the geometry, in a very dynamic and easy way. Let's swap between them, that will affect to all the different environments. And let's have a look as well to the light and shadows. With the environment, it comes a directional light together with the light provided by the image. This directional light will give to our scene a shadow that we can move and change the properties of this shadow. Properties like the softness, intensity, drop of distance and drop of rate. Let's move a little bit and find a proper position for the shadow and in a very dynamic way get a good result with lighting and shadow. With the geometry imported and the environment already, I'm going to select an environment that I'm happy with. I can just with M activate the library of materials. Let's have a look to the library of materials. I have paint, I have glass, I have decals, put stickers, I have fabric, I have extensive library of materials that comes with Showcase. Just selecting any of the materials is automatically applied that the active geometry that is selected. After that, just with selecting all the geometry again and Control M, we activate the properties of the material. We have color, highlight, clear coat, reflectivity, transparency. And just with the sliders, we can just get the right parameters. In that case, I can increase the reflectivity. I have a graphic because this reflectivity will depend on the angle 